Alex Leatherwood has yet to lock in the right tackle position, although he's had every opportunity to do so. But as you guys watch his tape, or if you watched his tape in the past, you guys know he is not the option, at least today. But a guy who looks really good for the Las Vegas Raiders is right tackle Jermaine Illuminor. In my opinion, he gives the Raiders the best shot to win. And today we're going to break down his seven snaps against the Miami Dolphins, starting with this first clip right here. In this play, this is going to be a simple pass set. Illuminor does get the double team by the tight end in this play. Illuminor doesn't do a whole lot, but I do want to kind of point something out really quickly. If you guys watch Lester Cott in here taking on number 90, number 90 is going to beat him right through this gap. And ideally, I would have liked Jermaine Illuminor, who's going to get some help from the outside to shut down number 90. So if you guys really focus in, number 90 is going to give him that outside punch, get right over Lester Cotton. Ideally, I would have liked Jermaine Illuminor to help him out just a little bit. Not a major deal. Keep in mind, Illuminor did start at left tackle in this game, and now he's switching over to the right side. That's very difficult to do, and I don't think people understand how hard it is to go from left tackle to right tackle. Think about this. The left side of the offense line, all these guys have their left hands down. Uh, they all have their left foot back and their right foot forward. On the right side, it's the opposite. You got your right hand down, your right foot back, and your left foot forward. So it's a completely different stance. Everything's flipped. Every play is flipped. Illuminor over the last two weeks has started at left tackle. And today we saw him switch back over to the right side. Keep in mind, he has been the right tackle throughout camp. Right tackle and right guard. Those are the two positions he's been playing throughout camp. He only started playing left tackle because of the fact that Colt Miller obviously isn't playing and Brandon Parker is getting hurt. But I did want to just point that out really quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Illuminor did play in seven total snaps. Alrighty guys, jumping into the next clip. This is the second play of the seven snaps that Jermaine Illuminor has taken. This is a cut block and there is an art to cut blocking. If you guys have watched any of my offensive line videos in the past, you guys know there is absolutely an art to cut blocking. Now, the left tackle and right tackle are both going to cut block. If you guys watch the right tackle, Jermaine Illuminor, he's going to use his entire body and jump in front of number 96. Number 96 ends up falling. If you guys watch the left tackle, Jackson Barton, he's going to jump directly into number 41. Now he does make contact the left tackle that is but this right here is the wrong way to cut block and the reason why is because in today's game defensive ends are too twitchy they're too fast they're too quick and if you dive into a defensive end most of the time these guys are gonna uh, step right past you and get to the quarterback super quickly if you put your entire body in front of the defensive end the way jermaine illuminor does here you are making it harder for a guy to sidestep or jump right or jump left and get past you plus it is harder and you are more likely to lose your balance as this defensive end does on this play he ends up falling right it's very difficult to sidestep as he does in this play and stay up uh this this is why when coaches teach cut blocking they tell you to use your entire body as opposed to jackson barton he's gonna go straight and use his helmet and this is the wrong way to cut block you don't dive like that into a guy Again, I know it works on this play. 99% of the time that play does not work. It's just cut blocking. Let's get into the third rep. Jumping into the third of seven snaps by Illuminor. He is going to get a double team once again. In my opinion, he does a really solid job here. And what he does in this play is something that's unique that not every single offensive tackle can do. Uh, this is referred to as the latch and mirror technique and i'm gonna break it down and let you guys just watch it from this side really quickly it isn't that noticeable if you guys just watch it in real time but we're gonna slow this play down and the thing you're gonna notice is after he gets the double team by that tight end he is going to latch his right arm to the right shoulder of that defensive end he's gonna grab onto that shoulder that is considered latching and that is something that's not that easy to do because oftentimes both guys are moving super quickly so you might not always land a perfect punch on that right shoulder illuminor is going to latch and then he's going to mirror the defensive end if you have a latch onto that defensive end you then are able to just mirror where he's going and it is impossible for him to get to the quarterback in a pass set this is actually a really solid job by jermaine illuminor with that being said let's go ahead and get into the fourth of his seven reps all right, you guys, jumping into the next clip, you have a power toss to the right or to the left of your screen. Illuminor does his job. He, you know, his responsibility is to down block on number 77. He does a good enough job. Nothing major, nothing to really break down in this play. 
This play is very simple. Everyone is basically responsible for down blocking. And the Luminor, of course, has number 77. And the front side guard is going to pull out here. Nothing major, nothing crazy. And if you guys watch the Luminor, he does a good enough job on number 77. Now, he doesn't really stick with him the entire time. But again, not, not a big deal. He does a good enough job. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Jumping into the next clip, you guys are going to see once again, uh, this is a toss play. This is going to be to the opposite side. So Jermaine Illuminor's responsibility is going to be to cut off the four eye technique defensive lineman. Uh, he does an okay job. The guy really wasn't ever going to make the play. Um, this is not a massive deal, really nothing to break down. Uh, ideally, it would be nice for him to get this defensive tackle on the ground, maybe take a slightly better angle or just cut block him. Either way, number 90 was likely never going to make the play, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, one of the things that we often say with offensive linemen is if you're backside blocking, your your block generally doesn't matter. And in this case, his block really doesn't matter. Uh, there's really nothing here. The front side linebacker ends up blowing the play up regardless. But let's go ahead and get into the next rep. All right, you guys, jumping into the sixth of the seven reps that Illuminor took, you guys can see right here, he does a really good job. He's in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Um, you know, you don't oftentimes see Raiders tackles in a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's like, it hasn't happened a lot in preseason. I know it's something that a lot of other teams may allow their guys to do. For the Raiders, we pretty much come out with a tight end on one side chip blocking and a running back on the opposite side. Now, the running back really doesn't help that much. In fact, the tight end helps much more. Uh, so it is kind of interesting that in the middle of this game, the tight end swapped over to the opposite side to help out Jackson Barton. Because when Alex Leatherwood's in the game, you guys would often notice the tight end is on an Alex Leatherwood side. So I don't know if that's by design. I'm going to say it is. Uh, but this is a really nice rep by Illuminor. He pretty much shuts down number 96. But the thing I noticed about this play is look how fast and explosive Illuminor is. If you really slow this down and you really watch him, he's out of his stance faster than any other player. At the same time, once he's out of his stance, once he vertically sets, he does a great job with his hands. And he basically has number 96 stopped in his tracks and it almost looks like he's not trying. This is actually a really solid rep by Jermaine Illuminor. Uh, keep in mind, this is the sixth of his seven snaps. This one's probably the best snap that I've seen so far. Maybe not. Maybe the latch and mirror play was better. I think that's more of a bigger deal because that 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 shows that he has like this advanced technique to his game. This is more of just whooping someone's ass that lined up across from you. Again, this is what a good tackle should look like. Either way, let's get into the final clip of Illuminor. Alrighty guys, jumping into the final clip with the Luminor in the game, he is going to run a wide receiver screen, right tackle, right guard center, all kind of get out there. The offensive lineman do an okay job. You guys see the play obviously gets blown up way before any of the offensive linemen actually get out there. I will say that he does do a good job in terms of setting himself up. Uh, he does give his receiver the outside. I uh, do keep in mind, and we'll just go ahead and back this up to the wide zone angle. Obviously, you guys see the wide receiver. Uh, I think that's Keelan Cole does not block his guy and his guy here ends up blowing the play up uh, but assuming that guy doesn't blow the play up if you watch Illuminor who's here he's going to actually seal off this cornerback or safety he actually blocks him downwards which technically would have given the receiver the outside lane again the play doesn't work because the initial wide receiver doesn't make the proper block but it's not a bad job by Illuminor in terms of his blocking angle I, I do like how he sets this play up how he kind of gets out there he isn't the quickest guy. He isn't the most explosive guy in terms of, of getting out there on screen passes. But to be honest, in the clips that I did watch him in right now, he may be the Raiders' best option. Now, he did play right tackle in week one in the Hall of Fame game against Jacksonville. And we're going to look at some of those clips. So let's actually go ahead and just get right into those clips as well. Alrighty, guys, jumping into the Hall of Fame game, do understand that Alex Leatherwood did start off at right tackle. He played the first two to three drives. And then Jermaine Illuminor came in. Uh, understand that the first swap that the Raiders made was Illuminor came in for Alex Leatherwood and Dylan Parham came in for John Simpson. Uh, so you guys obviously see Jermaine Illuminor is in at right tackle, number 72. He does a pretty solid job right here. Now you guys will see that obviously it was a fumble on this play. But if you guys watch his block and never mind the actual fumble that happened, keep in mind, linemen don't know when the, when the boss gets fumbled, right? But if you watch his block... And I actually noticed Illuminor a long time ago. I noticed him when I watched the tape here that this guy looks really good. Uh, keep in mind, in week two of the preseason, right, which was last week's game against the Vikings, 
Illuminar was not asked to play right tackle. He played left tackle pretty much the entire first half. Uh, after playing left tackle, he came out and did not play again. I believe he took some snaps at right guard. Uh, but only this past week, this third preseason game, was he asked to play right tackle again. But if you guys watch this play, uh, this is a power run to the right. Look at Illuminor here turning his guy. I mean, look at the lane that Jermaine Illuminor has created here by turning this guy. If number 45 gets to the inside here of this guy, the tight end, as you guys can see, has sealed off this guy. There's a massive lane potentially for Kenny and Drake here. And that starts with Jermaine Illuminor turning that guy. In my opinion, that's a nice job. Now, of course, it was a fumble, so the play doesn't really count. But again, we're not here for the outcome of the play. It's preseason. No one cares. We're here for the outcome of the offensive lineman. I mean, let's get into the next clip. Jumping forward into this next rep, you have Jermaine Illuminor, who is going to backside block on Kayvon Chase in here. This is the power run. Um, one of the things, if you guys watched the Alex Sutherwood video from last week on the main channel, is that Alex Sutherwood was struggling with these backside blocks. Like two or three times, we pointed out that his guy blew up the play from the backside. Uh, Luminor definitely has the effort here, and I do appreciate the fact that he sticks with Kayvon Chasing number 45, and he fights through this even though he's the backside guy. Uh, that's a that's a good rep, right? Nothing major, nothing crazy, but he is not showing that he's a lazy football player. He's showing that toughness. Definitely dig it. Let's get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys, jumping into the next rep, you're going to see that Luminor does a really solid job. Now, in my opinion, this is a great design by Josh McDaniels. Illuminor does a great job getting out there and really paving the way here for the running back. I think that's uh, Amir Abdullah. Uh, this is actually a really nice job. He is going to pull, as you guys are going to see. Uh, he does a great job sealing off number 48 and allowing the running back the easy touch. Now, that might be Austin Walter, so don't quote me on exactly which running back that is. This is a really solid job by the, the coaching staff. Uh, blocking angles. It's, it's easily the most important part of having success. The tight end here does a great job on number 91. 42 even sees where this play's headed. He's trying to point out to number 27 this is coming to the outside, uh, and it's too late, and 42 takes the wrong angle. 42 ends up going through here, and he's going to trip and fall. He should have taken the outside angle and forced the running back to cut it back to the inside. Either way, from Illuminor's perspective, this is a great job in terms of processing. Uh, you know, he doesn't know exactly which guy's going to be out there. He doesn't know exactly who he's going to have to block. So as he starts taking his steps, he has to really get downfield and look, just look out there and see who's in his way, who he needs to uh, chip, who he needs to double, who he needs to find and just put down or do whatever he needs to do. That's a great block, man. That's 100% because of Jermaine Luluma right there. Great job. Let's get into the next rep. As a former offensive lineman, cut blocking is crucial for me because it's the little things that go into winning reps. Illuminor once again is showing a great job that he understands how to cut block properly. He's going to use his entire body. This right here is such a great job cut blocking uh, compared to the, the snap we looked at earlier where Jackson Barton went head first. I think it was the second play that Illuminor was in the game uh, in the most recent game. But this is a good job. I mean, look at number 91. He literally has to use his hands to keep himself up because Illuminor is going to get in front of him. He rolls. I mean, that right there is such a beautiful job in terms of cut blocking. I know 90% of you guys aren't going to care, but as a former offensive lineman, man, that is a thing of beauty. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys, with that clip, that was actually the final play that Illuminor took at right tackle. Do understand he didn't play a ton of right tackle. It almost seemed like the coaching staff saw enough while he was at right tackle. Jermaine does give the Raiders the best option to compete for a Super Bowl this year if that is ultimately their goal. This team has went all in and the offensive line may be the one thing that holds them back, specifically the right tackle position. But I think Jermaine Illuminor does give them a great option of veteran presence who knows the Josh McDaniels scheme. I mean, he's been a starter for McDaniels while he was with the Patriots. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you are not subscribed. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time with another video.